right, this video is about finding off-market properties, like where you're going to find them. I know in the previous video, I did tell you it's a little general, so I want to be more specific, make it easier for you to find them. So, as you already know, we said Craigslist, LoopNet, and Zillow. Now, a couple terms that you might want to use when you're looking for off-market property is going to be seller financing and for sale by owner that is going to open up uh, your search to uh, 10 times more things there's also um, some other websites that have a list on it um, crixi c r e x i dot com total commercial another one uh, it's i don't know it's more like fourplexes and things a little bit of com a little bit off market i mean it's there it's called reonomy r e o n o m y connected investor um that has some off-market brokers which if you can't find a there sometimes an off-market off market broker or a realtor will have access to information about things that that are for sale that they only have knowledge of and that you can kind of use them if they're in on the game as in like they're not a real realtor where it's gonna they're trying to kill the deal but like a an off-market type realtor or a bird dog or an agent provides you access to the deal and access to the seller i mean if they want to do conference call while you're on the phone you can still close your deal and make your terms and do all these things so let's go look at some of these um here, uh, just on LoopNet, you've got your search terms. Uh, a lot of these are just owner financed. So almost all these ones with owner finance are really their slam dunk. Uh, I mean, because you got access to the owner. He doesn't have to carry the loan. You could literally tell him. You could do, I mean, depends. I mean, if right now we're talking to my clients if you you're on the page where you're not at 500,000 yet some of you then we could get you into like 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 million dollar deals we pull it with the little alternate financing uh, manipulation of the LTV and things like and literally can do zero money down or pull some money out on the smaller stuff now once you have 200,000 or 500,000 yeah I get you in the 20 million apartments and above and that's what what the real deal is but if you're ambitious you want to get in early this is how you're going to do it so um look there's uh well assisted living health care the the ranges are like there's a million and a half uh i don't know this must be a single family but you don't you don't want to do single family i mean unless I mean, you can find apartment complex or multi-unit complex from one to three million easy, one to five million easy. Um, if if you were to do single family, you wouldn't want to do rentals. You'd buy a bunch of them at auction or foreclosure or online auctions, and then you would buy them, and then you'd get um, properties between I don't know one to I don't know three bedroom, sometimes two bedroom if you got less money for cheaper, or three bedroom but the trick would be um you want to stay in the mid mid level class so they're always going to rent and then instead of renting them you're going to do lease to own and have advertise at least own for bad credit clients gr bad credit people and then you're going to try and get a down payment out of them anywhere from depends on if you got a hundred thousand hundred fifty thousand dollar property if you want to get in that higher smaller you get you know five ten thousand or whatever money you can get out of them they sign a contract where you still own the title they make the payments on it for like two years normally and almost 99 percent of the time well i say 90 percent of the time uh they put money into the property fix it up and most often they default because they got bad credit and they don't even need brains to, to fix it so when they default they just gave you Five, ten, or twenty thousand dollar down payment. Plus, they fixed up the property, so you got equity, a nicer property, and that cash down payment. So then, you do it again. But that's better than renting out the property because then you got you got overhead, you got uh, management, you got to go in there fix toilets, all this stupid stuff. So if you have like twenty or thirty properties that you're leasing out to own, and they're making payments, or 
I mean, I had one client and did a whole subdivision as a developer. Literally, like a whole square mile, every single house in there was leased to own. And, um, well, there's multi millions of dollars right there. But the trick on doing that would be you could get into that early, fast now, find your HUD homes, homes in foreclosure, or for sale by owners, and get in there with the good price. Do the do for sale by owner. Um, but you got to get in, got to get in at the lowest price so that that builds it up and get several of them. But the trick is on the cash payment on that, you want to have enough money to get your corporate money going. So if you even have a 640 and we got you like uh, 200,000 within three to six months, you already have a million bucks. So there's half a million or a million dollars. So you use all that corporate money to pay for all these houses and it's not on your personal. So your personal allows you to. Uh, keep it free the DTI down and extend the corporate credit so the corporate credit is like one to six months where we're talking a million bucks that's on one corporation and there's a way to take that corporation and turn it into like 10 million or more as time goes but that that's if you wanted to do this I'm talking about the small steps to get into these things so first you want to find these properties if you if you don't have the energy or you don't have as much money you would do a single family lease to own them do a down payment long term so back to off market seller financed or for sale by owners you're going to look at these websites loopnet loopnet.com so you're going to put in off market in whatever location you want to go to and then you're going to do one for seller financed and then for sale by owner and it's going to pull up, pull up all these deals by the same token there's a, some other sites like i just, just did mention uh the crxi.com here's a list of off market properties uh each city is different you could do them all over the nation i mean you, you don't have to go visit them i mean it's pretty once you get used to knowing what you want and picking it you don't have to go to them uh this is a hotel for 37 million uh, you got a resort and then there's a building for seven million the the deal is off market the true definition of off market is not in the MLS and not on the main real estate listing sites meaning that when we get money as in conventional well kind of conventional money from finance from the lender be it 89 or 10 I mean 90 80 or 70 percent down or 100 ideally if normally it'd be like maybe 90 percent down then we're gonna raise the market value and pull out some cash whatever if it is listed I mean if it's on a site that they can't see the price on it you can do all these things on a non mainstream site this is why it's called off market because it's not listed on a mainstream and it's not in in the MLS because if it is listed and then the lender sees it you have it for sale at say 37 million say like this off-market hotel well when you're doing off-market strategy and you're you're doing the structure on it you're gonna say the asking price would probably be like maybe if it, it'll appraise which it probably would say maybe I don't know 50 million then you're gonna pull out three four five million uh, the numbers go down the price is you know 50 million seller gets his money you probably pay him actually I don't know maybe four million for doing the deal then you get a, like three four million cash then you run the deal throw it to the lender manipulate the LTVs do the whole thing and boom you got the deal you're in it in on it that is when we have like you at five hundred thousand or two million bucks um, same with this resort um, you would do the same thing that's like the next phase but getting in on the first first phase you're talking one to $5 million dollar range you want to do apartments or whatever seller finance that'd be easy because guys are going to finance it so that's simple um so that's what you're going to be looking for uh commercial businesses that's actually a good thing i'll, I'll go over that in a minute but uh right now you look at hotels motels motels would be a first stop apartments one to ten million dollar range here's a good one uh fairfield inn that's a flag a flag 
anchor tenant which is a good deal um, that was only like 10 million bucks that would have been and it's off market oh that would have been good let's see where is that something like that well um, get the financials get the whole thing get the contract you bring it to me we'll do the deal okay so we'll go over all that stuff once you get one or do another video on it Zillow what do we got here Zillow uh, this is Chicago and I put in apartments for sale by owner well that's a, actually apartment building this is an apartment complex well maybe one maybe one we need multi-unit I don't it didn't specify multi-units but these are low price is probably too low but you can find um, a two unit or three or four unit for like you know four hundred thousand three hundred thousand here and there that would be the trick or a million if you wanted to get into something like that that's easy simple uh, this other website is total commercial uh, you put in your city state zip whatever and then you kind of got to weed through it because it doesn't let you do the uh, for sale by owner or off market but you could kind of go by the prices Miami Beach trophy 16 million dollars uh, residential investment apartments and hotels multifamily portfolio for a million bucks see some of these can have the price if it's on an off-market site and not on your mainstream media sites like the mainstream commercial sites or like uh, CBRE, Christian and Wakefield, and like these main commercial realtor type things, you, that would be considered on market. So you want to stay off of those. Um, Craigslist, what do we got? Uh, you go to Craigslist, Office and Commercial, you look for off market. And this, what do we got? Off market retail center. Retail centers are really good as well. And that is only six and a half million. space here's a building retails are good probably be your first probably your second or third deal would be a retail location and then you work that angle which will be good because you're gonna load it up with businesses all that you own and that's why retail is really great um, okay so there's several sites. All these have deals on them. Um, Atlanta. This one is for apartments. Um, for sale by owner. A lot of these. I don't think you can do off market on on Zillow. Uh, one other site is business buy and sell. Seller financing. But you're looking at the real estate aspect because real estate aspect we're doing the commercial real estate for it so you would be able to do the apartments and motels for now later on we'll do different things like um, buildings where you want to carry the building with the flag or anchor, anchor tenant like a Walgreens or McDonald's or whatever or even a Walmart but it's easiest slam dunk stuff with apartments motels yeah apartments motel and hotel motel 759,000 cash flow 75,000 geez 17 cabins two bedroom that's man Seller financing four hundred thousand. See, these are dirt. I mean, you could, you got hundred thousand. You could buy like several of these things. They're small, but it's better to have. I think it's better to have five hundred thousand than pull the bigger stuff. But it's all about building your portfolio. If you got, if you don't want to wait and you're ambitious, you want to start now. I would start now because uh, we get a loan for 80, 90 percent of that, and then the seller carry back a little bit. But technically, if it's off market, we get it where he probably wouldn't carry back any. You get cash, and the whole deal goes down in your favor.
You just have to go looking at a few of these things to start picking them up. So, that's how you find off-market stuff. The easy way. LoopNet, Zillow, Crixie.com, Total Commercial, Reonomy's Connected Investors, got a bunch of off-market brokers, and or if you find an off-market realtor connection. So that's how you find the deal. All right, so there you go. Work on your own business and get cash so you can push to get into other things. If you don't have your own business going and you don't have cash coming in and cash flow, you can't get into these other things and then you never get residual income and you never can get out of just doing your job or paycheck to paycheck not making it. And build the leverage your credit so you have the cash and the credit to do these things and to get you into other levels so if and if you don't even have good credit a bad credit i mean you're like you're like negative a thousand you're so far behind you haven't even got any net worth residual income you know any properties you don't have businesses going you haven't even started a business you can't even buy any business you got nothing and then you got nothing in like stocks and real estate and retirement you're screwed so you got to get your shit together. Then get your business going, take the extra cash and start putting it everywhere. And every time you have, maybe you keep about whatever excess amount of cash you got to get by on. And then the rest of your money, you put it on, you leverage it on every single thing you have. And basically you go broke every single time. Every time you get extra cash, you go broke on whatever you're going to buy. So I don't know, even on these equations with, uh, even if you, don't have funding from me you would be, be able to go broke on like every ten thousand dollar increment you have and put it toward another it could be a house it could be expand your business or it could be in the stock market or it could be on a small three to four unit uh, apartment complex with the seller finance or anything like that so every time you get five or ten thousand, even on, on if if your income is sucky, you put that on something that generates money. And the more you have, the more you get. It keeps going. The more success you have, the more success. The better you do, the more success you have. The more you do, the more success you have. I mean, you got to push from one level to the next. If you never push your business and you never get money out of your business, you don't get the cash flow. You can never get into that next thing. So once you're in the next baby thing. Then you get in the next thing. And before you know it, all these things like, well, and if you're doing this plus funding, I mean, at half a million dollars, you're already setting it like easy $20 million net worth. Maybe by the time we got you at a million, I could probably pull out of a million, maybe get you like, I don't know, four or five apartment deals and leverage off those. And then it's just continually closing once a week. I mean, once a month if you're really slow, but like once a week, once you get it, you go to these sites and you find them, you go to the properties and what's in your town and all that stuff, you visit them. And before you know it, you have a portfolio and you're doing real estate investing and you're investing, not wasting money on like speculation, like Bitcoin or things that don't actually pan out, that you don't have any way of getting money back. It doesn't pay out monthly monthly payments coming back to you. That's cash. Okay, that's it for this one. Bye.